Welcome back to Faith and Wellness. Together, we learn from the introduction of this beautiful retreat. Do you want to be healed? The path before you will reveal something profoundly true if you have eyes to see your story and your life or of intense interest to God who wishes to make you well. Thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are sharing. Do you want to be healed? This was the provocative question Jesus asked the lame man near the pool at Bethsaida. It is also the probing question he puts before each one of us as we seek healing in our lives. We may be hesitant for a myriad of reasons, but Jesus is not deterred. He approaches us fully confident in the Father's love and healing power. The Gospels are filled with astonishing stories that demonstrate this reality. These stories describe Jesus' interactions with people like you and me who have suffered from various physical, psychological, and spiritual afflictions. In these descriptions, we see the weakness of our fallen human condition and our desperate need for healing. We also observe Jesus' kindness and tender compassion for each person he encounters. He heals each person who approaches him with humility and faith. Over many years of praying with these gospel stories, I am convinced that they are windows into Jesus' heart, heart and mission jesus came to save us and his healing or a demonstration that god has visited his people luke 7 16 in applying these gospels today i have come to to believe that jesus is just as eager to heal each one of us as he did the people he encountered two thousand years ago in the holy land I have personally experienced this reality in my own life and have witnessed it repeatedly within my family and in the lives of many others. Many of these experiences are described in my first book, Be Healed, Ave Maria Press 2014, and I will be recording the book too. The book you know you now hold in your hands or that book that you're listening to is designed as a personal retreat to lead you into your own healing encounters with Jesus. It is organized around 10 compelling gospel stories which inspired Be Healed. These gospel passages are presented here so that you can pray and reflect on them before your own personal healing. Through this retreat, you will be guided in praying with these 10 gospel narratives through a process called Lectio Divina, which means divine reading. This method of encountering Jesus through the gospels has been practiced by the faithful for many, many, many years. Pope Benedict XVI speaks of its potential in his written exhortation, Bourbon Domini, the Word of God in the Life and Mission of the Church, Lectio Divina. is truly capable of opening up to the faithful the treasures of god's word but also of bringing about an encounter with christ the living word of god this is a this is the goal of this spiritual retreat to encounter jesus christ in the specific areas where you where you personally need and desire healing how to use the retreat this retreat is arranged in 10 separate days each one dedicated to praying with one of the 10 selected gospel passages it is designed intentionally to adapt to your life circumstances these days can be entered into over a span of 10 hours 10 days 10 weeks or however works best for you furthermore you may engage in these days on your own with the guidance of a spiritual director or with your family or community as you prepare for each time of prayer and reflection try to find a space that will allow you quiet without distraction this could be in your home at a retreat center at a church in front of the blessed sacrament or outside in your favorite place in nature i encounter um that 
I highly encourage you to come to these prayer times with a journal or tablet so you can record your prayer experiences and deepen the graces over time. In whatever way you may choose to encounter into this retreat, give yourself ample time to engage each day with an open mind and receptive heart. Don't rush through these prayer times. Feel free to stay on any one day for... For as long as you desire or come back to it repeatedly over time trusting that jesus desires to heal and sanctify you body soul and spirit see thessalonians 5:23. while praying with the selected gospel passages for each day you may also want to read the corresponding section of be healed which will add understanding and encourage your faith in Jesus' desires to heal you. However, it is not necessary for you to read Be Healed to benefit from this retreat. You can freely engage in this retreat even if you have not read Be Healed. As you approach each day, simply walk through the process as it is laid out on this book. Most importantly, allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and inspire you as you prepare for an encounter with Christ the living word of God. Urban Domini 87. Preparation. Each day opens with the following guides to prepare you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Thematic question. The thematic question, the theme for each day, centers around a specific question posed by Jesus. These questions are drawn directly or indirectly from the gospel stories themselves. Approach these questions with the understanding that they are directed to you personally. They are meant to provide a focal point for your reflection, invoking God's presence. As you begin each time of prayer, acknowledge God's presence, then intentionally invite the Holy Spirit to guide you. The Holy Spirit will bring the gospel passage to life in the here and now and lead you into a personal healing encounter with Jesus. Preview of the gospel passage before praying with the gospel passage. Reflect on the insight of the catechism of the Catholic Church or from St. John Paul II. These quotes are intended to help you focus your attention as you pray through the gospel while employing the Lectio Divina method. Lectio Divina, Lectio Divina, five basic mov movements make up the core of each day's reflections. These are reading, meditation, vocal prayer, contemplation, and action. Move slowly and deliberately through each step in the process. Gospel reading. Lectio Divina. The gospel passages for each day describe an encounter between Jesus and a person in need of healing. Read the passage slowly and prayerfully with a desire to know how Jesus responds uniquely to each person in their need. Each day's gospel selection corresponds to parale parallel sections of Be Healed. The first five gospel stories are drawn directly from those references in the introduction and first four chapters of Be Healed. The last five gospel passages are closely associated with the remaining chapters to be healed. Meditation, meditation, the meditations are drawn from the corresponding chapters of be healed. They are meant to steer your personal reflection and to awaken your desire of healing. After prayerfully reading the gospel, pause to apply it personally. The church teaches to meditate on what we read helps to make it our own by confronting it with ourselves. Here another book is open, the book of life. We pass from thoughts to reality. Vocal prayer or asho, follow, following this comes prayer or asho, which asks the questions, what do we say to the Lord in response to his word? Prayer as a petition, intercession, thanksgiving and praise in the primary way by which the word transforms us, Verbum Domini 87. 
Each day, this section on vocal prayer begins with a few verses from one of the Psalms and continues with your personal conversion with Jesus, conversation and your personal conversation with Jesus or the Father. It may be helpful in this prayer to imagine yourself in the gospel scene so that you are seeing Jesus in your sanctified imagination in front of you and speaking directly to him. Contemplation. Contemplation, contemplation allows you to engage the gospel passage with both your mind and your heart, placing yourself in the gospel story, identifying with afflictions, doubts, and faith of a person encountering Jesus. Then bring those to Jesus to receive his powerful healing. Action, action or action, the people who encounter Jesus in Each of the gospel stories respond with a definite action that demonstrates their faith and actualizes their healing encounters at the end of each contemplative prayer experience. You are presented with a suggested action or an opportunity to choose an alternative action to realize your healing encounter. Wisdom from the church. As Jesus heals us personally, he brings us into deeper communion with his mystical body the church in this section you will have the opportunity to ground your experience in the church's wisdom which is essentially the wisdom of the holy spirit speaking to us in our current life circumstances each entry will highlight a different aspect of the gospel passage and reflections further growth Finally, each day closes with suggestions for further growth, including books to read, videos or movies to watch, and songs to listen to. These suggested resources are intended to, pro to provide a deeper understanding of the gospel theme so that you can integrate and expand your healing encounters more fully into your daily life. As you move through this retreat experience, I pray that Jesus Jesus' healing love may strengthen and sanctify you in body, soul, and spirit. And thank you to those of you that have subscribed. And if you have the need to heal or you know people that are around you that have the need to heal in different ways. But in reality, all of us need some type of healing. Sometimes it can be emotional healing. Sometimes it can be a spiritual healing. Sometimes it can be physical healing, but there is always something that needs to be healed in our hearts, in our minds, in our bodies, in our spirit. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. Pray for me as I always pray for you. And I shall see you in the next video. I can't wait to share what day one will be all about. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.